All right, guys. Oh, go ahead. No, man. You seemed like you had a thing. Looked like you had a thing. He was like winding himself up. Mm -hmm. like, I can tell. <laughs> you, know, you go ahead. You go ahead. You got <laughs> Welcome back to the Midwest oh. Review, guys. We've got a special episode for you guys today. Uh, Billy, this is your house. Yes, we're sitting on my porch right now. We're drinking homebrew beer. This is lobster and rib fest. And, yeah, lobster uh, rib fest, yeah. uh, ribster fest, I believe is what somebody called it the yeah. other day. Yeah, so this is the day where late in the summer where we all get together and we smoke a shit ton of ribs and we steam a shit ton of lobsters. We all sit down at a big ass table and uh, and enjoy, enjoy each other's company. And, and the planning months before, or maybe a month before, Billy likes to make a beer, maybe two, I think he made two this time. All right, so the first one was a fan favorite from last year. We just called it the Lobster Fest Wit. It is a Belgian style wit beer, except we throw away that garbagey, um, dried up orange peel that people use in the kits, and we're using fresh lemon peel. And we also did a Mandarina Bavaria dry hop in it to you know freshen it up give it a little hoppy note too so a little citrus yeah orange. and that's what yeah. we're, that's what we're drinking on right now and then you said the other one was the puree yes and then the other one we did is the same wheat base and we went ahead and dropped uh six pounds of uh blackberry puree into that one and a bunch of lemon peel as well so so we don't have that one in front of us but no. we are drinking the lemon wit billy can you break down how do we make this beer what, what's our ingredient list? What is it? This beer is a so it's a wheat base. So it's it's half pilsner and half uh, and half wheat malt, white wheat malt. So uh, love that white yeah. wheat. And then there's Actually, also yeah. and there's also flaked wheat and there is flaked oats in there. So it's a pretty it's I don't want to say standard, but it's a, it's a pretty pretty solid wheat base wheat beer base, and then we're using coriander and we're using fresh lemon peel like right near the end of the boil. And I had to crush the coriander for you. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's so good. I love it's, coriander. Cracked, funny. cracked coriander. Coriander smells yeah. so good. Yeah, coriander smells like. Shit. And then you crack it and it smells like the most glorious. It's citrusy, spicy notes. Like mm -hmm. it's so great. Uh, as far as the lemon. Flavor. How do you how do you go about getting that? Then? So the lemon flavor is both right at the end of the boil. We're putting some some lemon peel in there. When you peel it, make sure you know you peel it nice and thin, so you're not getting into the white pithy part because that's all bitter. Right. And also in the dry hop, I'm I'm putting some peel in the dry hop as well to get some of that citrus uh, boil, you know, in, into the beer as well. Downstairs in Billy's basement. Billy has completely gutted his entire basement. You've seen videos down here of us filming with a couch over there, but now the, the, the wall is completely destroyed. Here's the second version of the lobster wit. So what we have here is the same wheat base, and we got a whole bunch of blackberry puree in here. It's foaming out like a bejesus. We will fix that later. We're in the middle of a party, so we don't have time. We'll just let this settle out and enjoy it. We're gonna pass this out in a little bit here. So Bill, though, the same, this is the same beer, base beer, though, of the lemon wheat yeah. that we talked about. So actually, it's the same wheat grain bill, but it's an American yeast. Uh, okay. like, I think it's like a USL5 or something like that. Okay. It's a clean American yeast and uh, we let it ferment out and then we drop the puree in and about a lemon's worth of peel. Okay. And, you know, just to give it a little bite, a little tartness to brighten up that blackberry. Gotcha. And last week, we had the kegerator build and the kegerator is here alive and well. Look at that. Yeah, she's still, still kicking. She's still breathing. And I think you got a bunch of uh, stickers on the other side here. Stickers are coming, coming along, Bill. Coming along. Yeah. So hopefully next time you see us, uh, we'll be like hashtag Billy make things fully finished basement. Yeah. And not hashtag Billy makes a shit show in his basement. 
Hashtag Billy's house fell into the ground. Yes. yes. <laughs> All right, Billy, we're going to run up to people, pour your beer, yep. and then uh, see what they think about it. Yep. What do you think? I think this is a great idea. Let's do it. Go. Ooh, tart. Tart. Refreshing. Refreshing. <laughs> Fruity. All right. Good. Keep moving. Good Keep summer moving. beer. Keep moving. I'm Keep in. moving. I made it. It's a blackberry wheat beer. Oh, yeah. It We're just trying to get, it. like, rapid. First words that you come out, that you think of. <laughs> He's speechless. Speechless. Damn. Summer. Oh, it's good. It's refreshing. Brian, go. It's light and fruity. It kind of follows the like lemon width where we tried to go for just a nice summer crusher. Oh, th we're videotaping the uh, the reaction. Yes, it tastes like snozzberries. <laughs> that is damn good. Damn good. Perfect. Well Thank done. You. Well done. Fruity beer. It's a wheat beer. It's pretty light. A bourbon guy. Well, that's really good. It's not. It's not super tart. That's really good. Okay, so this is our summer crusher. It's um, it's a light, it's very light in body. So what we'll do here is we'll actually post the recipe um, in, in the comments section yeah. or in the Facebook sure. post. Yep. For you homebrewers out there, what is your favorite summer beer to brew? Do you, what do you guys think? Can we find some recipes from you guys maybe that we're missing out on that was your favorite beer to brew and drink in the summer on hot but beautiful days? Yeah, so what do you say we... Uh, we're going to get back to the party uh, and cheers. Uh, please check out our recipe and I uh, hope you enjoy it. Yeah, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, we're on Facebook. We're on Instagram. I think we're on Twitter. We are now on Twitter, by the way. Yeah. That's right. And obviously, YouTube, guys. So YouTube. thank you so much for YouTube. watching. We appreciate yes. it. Yes, yes. I need out. ribs. I need ribs. Everyone needs ribs. Oh.